my superpower is that I can fold these accordion folds really evenly. And I'm going to show you how to do it. I haven't seen anyone else do it exactly this way, and this is such a great way of doing it that I want to share it. So I've got this long piece of paper. This is actually 45 inches long. It's 5 and 5 eighths inches wide. The first thing I need to do with this is to make a center, and I make the center by folding it in half. Bring these edges over here. Slide it across, slide my hand across, and make a center. Next thing I need to do is I'm going to bring these edges to the center. This is the way that Barbara Muriello, Muriello taught me many years ago. I do something a little different than hers after the, she does after this step, or after the way she taught me at that time. But this is how she started, and it's a great way to start. What you want to do here is when you make these folds, bring them right to the center. And what you want to do is make sure that you really make these folds sharp because you're going to be reversing them. You're going to be creating the inverse of this fold. Making it was going one way, now it's going the other. If you started out making this kind of a wimpy fold here, it won't reverse as well. So you really want to make sure that's a good sharp fold and see how nicely that reverses. Okay, so now I've got this center. I think that this is the origin. And the folds are going to reflect towards the origin. Uh, it's, it's going to be symmetrical folding on both sides. And what I'm going to be doing is bringing it right to the center here. Very carefully to the center. Slide across. Now I've got this nice little edge here because I've made a fold. That's going to make it easier to match up right to the center again. That's why it's so important to make that first fold right at the center. And line it up just right. And now these are even, but if I just kind of let go of that side a little bit, there's enough of a shelf there that it can guide my fold. So I do it by eye and I do it by feel. Bring this side over again. There you have it, an accordion. This is still too big, so what I need to do is, this is a mountain fold, I need to make all of them into mountain folds. So I, that means I've got to reverse every other fold. And this is my next step towards making it an even narrower accordion. And I'll know that I have reverse my folds, enough of my folds, and just the ones I needed to reverse. When I'm done, because when I set this up, you'll see it'll create a, like a closed shape. There it is. You see it's, nothing's going the other way. Okay, so I get back to my middle. Find my origin again. It's right here. And now I'm going to be bringing these, again, right to the center. This first fold is the most important one, because I can't do it by feel and by eye. I can only do it by eye. Got a little shelf there again. Come to the center, meet it up. Again, these are even, but if I let go of this one a little bit, there'll be a little bit of a shelf. Just a little bit of a shelf. Now do the other side. And 
what I would do after this if I wanted to make them smaller is I'd go in reverse half those folds again and bring everything to the middle again. But this is as far as I'm going to go with this one because it's it's really just the same idea repeated over and over again. In this case, let's see, bring that there. Okay, there we go. There's my accordion. Um, uh, if I if I went down even further, it would be go. It would be like this. For this, I'm going to be making one of these. So I only actually need these made, these folded into squares. I only need six and a half squares, not eight, which this is what may as well be taking off this much. But uh, that's how you do it. Now you've got a superpower. Enjoy.